Hello everyone, this is Lian Bing. Welcome uh, this video we will discuss about the skin magic 3.1. What's the new features in there? So first of all the skin tools right now separate into two. One is skin magic meaning focus on the skin weight and one is the spring magic meaning focus on spring animations. And both of script can be free download on my website. So on the Spring Magic, Skin Magic, sorry, on Skin Magic, the install function is the same as Skin Tools. You will see the detail in the How to Install document. After you open the script, a main different is you can see I change the UI, make uh, add a screw area there that you can visit all the functions by screw don't really need to swi switch different pages got same weight stuff okay let's use this character to discuss the new functions so this character is a kind of general video game character looking Love, not too much high poly but lots of equipment the clothing, legs and I, I already applied a default Maya skin there, so that's the result. So you can see the bones. The skirt bones, the bones on the clothing, affect the leg, the mesh of the leg a lot. And the bone of the leg affect the bottom part of clothing as well. So they affect each other, make everything messed up. And uh, it's really hard for us for us <coughs> to start working on the weight. You need to s fi figure out which part below to which part by yourself. So now we have a new function called risking. The idea of risking is you s certain bonds only affect a certain pick the vertex vertices. So let's just do it and you will see what's happening. So let me get only the clothing and the skeleton selected. And I only showed clothing and skeleton and uh, I picked the skirt bone which I like to use that to affect the other lower part of the clothes. Oh, one more thing is, in the new skin magic, I changed the priority of the vertices. When the two open, you will always hmm. not always successful. I'm tracking. Sorry. Okay, yeah, now you can see. So with the two open, vertices will always become the highest selection part. And the bone will be low higher, the low priority one. It's easier for you to pick multiple vertices. You don't really need to sw switch the selection filter here by manually. So you just pick the vertices vertices as you want. Okay, let's back to the risking part. So pick the bones. We're gonna to use for the risking. So all the skirt bone. We say load the bone here. Then you will see the number of the bone you loaded. Then we pick the vertices of the lower part of clothing. of the verses. So apply. I hit apply here. Then see all the clothes select the vertices will be only affect you can see the skin weight bone list here. Only be affected by the pick the bones. That's quite 
quite simple, easy, and beautiful. And we can also relax the vertices weight, which is also a new function. Let me just relax it. Relax it. Okay. Then relax all the smooth all the skin weight on the selected vertices. In back all of you. So right now you can see all the clothing only affected by the skirt bone. But we still have problem on the leg. There's some small part I can fix first. Use copy skin weight and the paste on that. Okay, let's go to the leg. And pick all the leg vertices and element. Only show that with skeleton skeleton then we can see it easier. So right now the leg is affect upper part of the leg affected by the skirt 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 bones. So we do the same thing. For the left leg I make make it only be affected by left leg. Say low the bone, three bones. And select the vertices of the left leg. I go front view, make it easier to pick. I only select the left part, say apply. We see, check the result, see? It's not being affected by the skirt anymore. We can com compare with the right part. See, it's quite, cl quite clean. Now, we do the same thing on the right. the right bone as low the bone and pick the right vertices. Say apply. See? So skirt not affected anymore. Oh, still some effect on the middle because we didn't pick the middle part previously. Then we have process the middle part so let them go to the pelvis. All of them go to the pelvis and then on the connection part, joint part, I smooth the skin a bit. See. Then let me show back everything. So with simple steps, less than five minutes, I already clean up all the lower part. Obviously it's not like perfect skin weight, but it's really help when you see everything messed up, it's, it's give you a start point. So same thing on the like the clothing under the the overlap clothing. There are two light two layers of clothing. So I will gonna to use the outside which already processed to driven the inside skin weight. So go to the outside one. I use this from to you. I pick these vertices as use WAP. So I load the outside, which already down the skin weight as sauce. And we use the sauce to dry, to dry, copy the skin weight to the inside. And then we simply say WAP. And it will take a few seconds to finish the calculation. Okay, it's done. Okay, we finish the lower, bod lower body and then we start on the upper body. So the upper body is the same thing, that's the wise, the back part, driven by the skirt bone, which should not be. So we get to the upper body mesh. And the only shoe selected, make it clear. So I don't only want a spine, the bones, spine joints to driven the body, not nothing else. So I pick the spine bones. So spine, there who like spine, spine one, spine two, spine three, uh, and the neck, and the clavic maybe, left to right clavic. 
then I will use this as source bone to running the risking we load this bone and to pick the vertices we're gonna to wait on the bone okay so we say apply see the spine the inside the body not be driven by the skirt ball anymore and it's only weighted by my default weight of the spine joint and we do the same thing on the clothing We pick this spine neck clavic as a source bone and uh, pick the clothing upper body as <coughs> the vertices we're gonna process and then say, say apply. Okay. The clothing also be processed. And then we see we look at the shoulder part. The shoulder part is usually the most complex part of a character skin walk. And we actually find that the inside of body is not too bad as a Or the cell phone. So inside the part not too bad. So we can just simply pick the the this part and it just relax the skin weight a bit to make it smoother. Then that's pretty much close as a good start point. I mean, what the, everything I did here is just working out a start point, not the final skin weight. Just make this clear. Okay, so. After that, I'm going to use this part to drive in the skin weight of the clothing outside. So I pick this as in the WAP, I say it's like a lot of verses. And I go to clothing, get to the same, same place part, same place part, and then WAP. And with the, some crazy part, we just smooth the skin weight a bit. Okay. So yeah, it's uh, good enough to see what's happening and uh, can. do some decent work quickly, not messed up anymore. So we can do the same thing on the right part to fix out those crazy messed up vertices and faces by WAP and the risking function. The risking function is invented by myself. I didn't see any other script did that before. It's just like uh, suddenly I notice I can do like something like that then I just do it. So like this tiger head just make it totally follow the right clavic to make things easier. So it's just like more than a bit a bit more than 10 minutes then we fi find the we get everything from totally messed up to a good start point of decent skin weight. And then keep do the rest of skin work. 
I think with my two I can finish that in like three hours or something. So save you a lot of time on that. Right? So some other function previously we talked about the reskin, the warp, the relax. And okay, some other function that's not too important but also useful like check influence. What means like in on video game we usually have limitation on each vertices can only be influenced by f no more than four. Otherwise you will get error or warning in the editor, engine editor. And the Maya kind of not so good at maintaining the influence. You can even you set a lock influence, it's so always like go out of that. So we can use this function to check if we have the vertices over the influence. So like for these vertices I say it is already influenced by four. Then I add whatever it is, add the fifth influence, as well as maybe that one add the fifth influence. So that's then there are the two wrong point. But how could we get them? We just simply pick all the vertices and say we want to get all the vertices which over for influence, then we say check. Okay, then it will automatically select the wrong vertices for you. If there are no vertices over, then it's picked nothing. So you can see how many vertices from here, how many vertices it's picked. So that's easier for you to check wrong meshes, wrong weights. Okay, basically that's everything for this update. And uh, let me know if you have any good idea or question. You can leave simply leave comments. The English version. You can simply leave comments on my website animebuy.com animebuy.com no space okay thank you thank you for watching and uh, have a good day bye